How do you think about your investment philosophy and the types of business models of these internet companies? At the end of the day, it's it's very qualitative. I think a lot of investors are very quantitative and they look at businesses like spreadsheets. I think it's much more qualitative. Real deep dive on how tiny is run. This guy did like the operating manual for how, how tiny is run. Lots of really good insights in here. But one thing this guy says is, I don't know if this is by design, but it seems like Andrew has progressed from services to tools slash products to platforms, communities, and, and digital marketplaces. Do you see it that way? Or, or how do you think about your investment philosophy and the types of business models of these internet companies that, you know, that you've been focusing on as, you know, as time has changed and over many years you've been doing this? Well, I think the advantage that we have is that we're operators. And so we know how hard businesses are. And so when we look at a business, we can usually say, you know, A, how founder dependent is this? How hard is this to operate? How hard is this space? Um, you know, what are the what are the kind of competitive uh, forces or you know countervailing forces or whatever? Um, and then is this a space that is growing or dying? You know, sometimes it's it's the actual business is kind of slowly dying um, or or slowly growing or you know whatever it is. But at the end of the day, we're betting on the trend and we're saying, you know, is this a business that we can own for 10 years? And, you know, why can we get our money back at the end of the day? And, you know, like Buffett, we kind of have evolved from loving cheap things to actually really being ready to pay up when we spot competitive advantage, which comes in so many forms on the Internet. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's it's very qualitative. Uh, I think a lot of investors are very quantitative and they look at businesses like spreadsheets. I think it's much more qualitative. Um, and it comes down to the fact that businesses at the end of the day are collections of people and people are complicated. And so there's a lot of assessments to do around that. Hi, I'm Alex. Thanks for watching the show. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, but even better, make sure to follow us on Odyssey, follow us on Rumble and text us. 203-646-5159. Text the word Monopoly. You'll be subscribed. You'll get updates about when we're going live, our latest videos, and we'll send you even a little goodie bag. And in the event that we all get banned from big tech, we'll still be connected.